Well, hello, everybody. My name is Craig Foss, and I am the chair of the Criminal Justice Department here at Alvin Community College. I want to show you a real brief video to show you how you navigate through my Blackboard um, classes. Every instructor at this college and others have a little bit different ways they do things in Blackboard, and I want to show you exactly how mine are so you, you, know, you can navigate through things a, a little simpler. I'm going to show you examples first from my um, online classes, uh, and then I'm going to briefly go over some differences that you'll find if you're in one of my face-to-face -face classes. So let me go ahead and get out of the way, and we'll get started. Now, normally on the classes, you will, when you log into Blackboard, and I'm going to assume that everybody that's watching this video knows how to log into Blackboard, go through the college pod and, you know, Use your username and password, and that will get you into the pod. And then you, you, you can scroll down and find your courses and just click on one of your courses, and that will bring it up in Blackboard. Um, again, I'm assuming everybody knows that because if you're watching this video, you're either gotten the link to it from within the announcements in Blackboard or from your college email account. And while we're at it, I want to mention that college email is the official communication between the college and the students and all electronic communication has to go through your college account and not your personal account. So please don't send me email from your personal account. Um, I'm not going to be able to answer your questions you have. Uh, you know, if I catch that it's your personal account, I'm probably going to send you an email back saying you need to email me from your per your college account in order to get, uh, you know, an answer there. But, but anyway, you can get to your email from the pod. Um, up on the right hand side there will be a thing that will show you how many messages you have and so forth. Okay, we're back to the dashboard. This is where you'll have class announcements. Um, you know, it's a good possibility you all are watching this video because you saw it on the class announcements. Uh, there's also things like uh, the to-do list and, uh, and so forth. I believe that you all can customize this. I'm not positive on that. I, at one point you could, but and things change in Blackboard quite a bit. So that's the dashboard page. It kind of replaces what we used to have as the home page if you were, you know, taking classes here in the past. Um, so again, not all pages are going to, all uh, classes going to open up into that for whatever reason. I've got one class that opens up in the Start Here page. So let's go to the Start Here page. Start Here page is going to have, um, well, first there's going to be a little banner up at the top that I've got some beautiful graphics that were kind of made on the cheap using a, a word program. Not exactly a graphics program, but anyway, they're there to distinguish the different courses that I have, mainly there so that I make sure I'm in the right class more than for the students, but it, but it kind of identify the course. Have a link to my grades, so you can click on my grades and uh, find your grades on various courses. Um, you know, kind of a standard thing that's not customizable. I yet normally will have a link to the announcements, and that's um, there. Of course, there's no announcements there, but it will give you um, your various announcements. I'll have the syllabus for the course. You click on it, it will open in a different window, and it's a PDF version of the file. Give it a couple seconds because it takes a little bit to load. And there you can look at uh, your your syllabus and you know go through things. You know, with like for instance, got a big red note on this one um, that it's not a self-paced course and that we do use Respondus Lockdown Browser. So that, that's that's there. Read the syllabus. We, we put it there for you to know what is expected of you for the course. Um, Oops, did I click on the wrong one? Yep, I clicked on the wrong one. Back, back to the, uh, the, the online class. Uh, below that, and if, for the matter of fact, the face-to-face -face class is going to be the same as this. Then will be a course schedule. Just keep in mind this course schedule is subject to change. Things happen during the semester. Little things like Hurricane Harvey, um, ice on the highway, and so forth, that will keep us from coming to campus. Let me just point out, if Blackboard is up and running and there's no ice on the internet highway, the, um, the internet classes are not canceled because we can't get to campus. So just keep that in mind. Keep up with your deadlines, even if their school's shut down for ice. Now, if we were shut down like we were for Harvey, the whole system was down, 
and then everything kind of got pushed back. Uh, below that, I'm going to have a link to my office hours. Um, <clears throat> and uh, below that will be a link to your particular textbook for the course. So you can kind of look at that. The order of these may be a little bit different in each course, but they will be substantially the same. Next, there's going to be a, a link to the uh, tab for the weekly content. This is where you find what we're going to do each week. And I give you the first day of the week, week number one, the, you know, start at January 14th. And it tells you quickly what we need to do. <clears throat> if you want, want more details or you're ready to, to look at videos, take um, quizzes and so forth, you will click on not the folder, but the actual week one, January 14th or, or whatever is written there. And it will bring you up to what's going on that week. We'll have the week at a glance next. Each week in the online classes, I will do a weekly video update, uh, generally on Friday or maybe Thursday during the summer, um, where I'll talk about what we did last week and what we're going to do this week. Face-to-face -face classes, you will not see that. Then we'll have the uh, a list of what's going on. Uh, you'll have the videos for the face-to-face uh, -face classes. Um, I'm sorry for the online classes, the face-to-face the -face classes, there won't be videos, except in the missed class section, we'll come up to that in a minute. In here for week one, there's a lot of videos, because I've got videos to tell you, you know, a kind of a syllabus video, i got a plagiarism video, got uh, this video that you're watching will go here, I uh, um, haven't updated the link here yet, because I'm making the video now. And then below that, we will have the, a, a video that will show you how to forward your ACC email to your personal email account so you don't have to check both. But keep in mind, when you respond, you have to go to the ACC account to respond, not from your personal account, because what you'll actually do is send an email back to yourself because you're forwarding email. And then again, in this week, I've got a, a link to go to the uh, research paper tab. I've got the introductory quiz, which on each course you'll need to make a hundred of to continue the course and discussion boards and so forth. So each week will be a little bit different. Go back to the weekly content. Uh, you can go back all the way. You know, I've got um, as this video is being made, I've only got week eight done. Um, so you click on week eight to see what you want. Uh, let's test that week and so forth. So, um, you know, for instance, if you, you wanted to go take the exam, you can click on that and it will bring you to the exam tab. Uh, while we're at it, we'll go ahead and talk about the exam tab. There's another link to it right here on your left. That'll bring it up. When the test is available, it will show up here. Approximately a week or so before the exam is available, you will have a link to a key term for your for you as a study guide. So you want to be checking on that. Uh, I'll mention it in the, in the weekly updates for the online class. For the face-to-face -face class, I'll mention it in class. Now, if you are in an online class setting, you've got a, a link to the Respondus Lockdown browser that you need to download in order to take the class, and this little video that tells you all about it. So you want to, to watch that. Well, okay, everybody in the short. And um, because you're going to need to use that for the course. So it was a requirement or either that or come to campus to take the exams. Next uh, link I've got on here is going to be a link to your research paper or your court observation paper, your, um, your case reviews, whatever it is that's needed for that course. There will be all kinds of information on that there on this, this tab, including uh, the research paper quiz where you're going to have to show me that you understand what the requirements are um, and then links to sign up for the topic and so forth. Um, if it's a course where you have to sign up for the topic and most of them are like that, then you would click on this tab and it will come up in a second and you would simply click on the spot and type your name in. Even if it's a face-to-face -face class, if you get to it before class, you can sign up early. Don't type over another student's. Uh, that would just, you know, it's first come, first serve. And the, the, the uh, other tab on here, there's a course tools tab that just links to some of the tools, my grade, send email, and so forth. Uh, there are, there's a direct link to emails here, so you can send email to me or to other students. There's a direct link to the discussion boards. 
and then there is a, a link, another link to My Grades. Um, below that, we have Help and Resources. There's a link to Blackboard Support, which right now, because we're in between uh, distance ed directors, uh, Blackboard Support is being handled through contract with Blackboard, and there's a phone number. If you're watching this after that has expired, there will be a link to a um, some type of form for you to complete in order to get your Blackboard help. There's links to the Career Coach Library, online tutoring, uh, upswing on, uh, online tutoring, I'm you know, and to the College Library. I'm not real sure what all the online tutoring entails, uh, but they are available to you. You paid for them for for your college fees, so please utilize them. Now, the one thing I'm going to do before we move on, we're actually kind of towards the end of this video, I just wanted to show you the one major difference between the face-to-face -face and the online, and really the only difference is going to be on those weekly content. Um, instead of having all the videos right there on the front page, you're just going to have kind of some quick things, um, and then that you have another folder that's for students who miss a class because if you're a face to face class you have to make up all classes that you miss and to do that you click on this miss class folder and then you have all the videos and you have the quizzes for that week so you will have to take those quizzes if you miss the first class you have to make 100 percent on the makeup quiz because it shows you understand the course requirements and then any of the other quizzes you'll have to make a 70 percent so that, that's basically it. That's, uh, like I said, a real brief video to show you how to navigate through the course. And um, if you have any questions, send me an email from your Alvin Community College email account, and I will get back with you with any information that you need.